today's video, we are making a custom loading screen in Roblox Studio. So if I hit play, you'll see that loading screen for a few seconds and then it will disappear. Pretty simple. So let's just get started. In starter GUI, we want to add in a screen GUI and I am going to rename it to be loading screen GUI. And inside of that loading screen GUI, we want to add in a frame. Now select this frame scroll down until you see the size property it should be by default 0 comma 100 comma 0 comma 100 so we're going to change that to be 1 comma 0 1 comma 0 and that'll make it fill up the entire screen which is exactly what we want and i want a black background so underneath the background color property we are going to click that and I'm going to do complete black. Click OK. Now inside of this frame, we want to add in a text label. And on that text label, I want it to say loading dot dot dot. For the font, I want it to be Doka 1. Text scaled, I'm going to check. Text color, I'm going to make it not completely white, but like an off white. I want to scroll up so I find the border transparent or the background transparency i'm going to turn it all the way up to one and for the anchor point i'm going to set it to 0 0.5 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 then for the position we are going to set it to 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 and i should put it right in the middle of the screen is what we want now it's time to create our script so in the loading screen gui underneath it click the plus icon and add in a local script and it's time to write the script i like to put a comment at the top of the script saying what it is and it is a loading screen script and it is client side first thing we need to grab is the loading screen gui so local loading screen equals script dot parent we need to grab the players service players equals game colon get service players now we want to grab the replicated first service so local replicated first equals game colon get service replicated not storage replicated first and now we want to show the loading screen immediately when we press play or whenever the game starts so we just want to say loading screen dot enabled equals true then we want to also at the start we want to disable the default uh, roblox loading screen so disable the default loading screen and to do that, you just say replicated first, colon, remove default loading screen. And it's the built in function that we call. Next, we want to make a function for checking if the character is fully loaded, because once the character is fully loaded, that is when we will uh, disable the loading screen after a after a delay that we can create. Um, so, yeah, let's actually add in a delay variable that we will use. We'll just call it loading screen delay and we'll just set it to three for three seconds back to the function to check if the character is fully loaded so we'll just say local function on character added and we are passing through a character and we want to wait for the character to have a humanoid which indicates it has loaded and so in order to do that we will say while not character colon find first child and we are looking for a humanoid and inside of this while not we will say wait in parentheses 0 0.1 and outside of this while loop we will say or we will add in that delay variable that we created. So we will add a small delay and this is optional. You could just disable the loading screen as soon as the character loads, but I like to add it 
really you can just add this and if you don't want to delay you can just set this variable to zero but yeah we'll just say wait and loading screen delay which is three seconds then after that delay we just want to hide the loading screen so we will say hide loading screen and we'll say loading screen dot enabled equals false that's it for that function so now we need to connect that function whenever a player's character is added so we will connect the function to the character added event which is local player equals players dot local player then player dot character added colon connect then we just pass in that function we made on character added then below that we will say if the character is already added run the function immediately and to do that we just say if player dot character then on character added then we pass in the player dot character and that should be it for our script so we've got this enabled by default it really doesn't matter we can enable it or disable it if we hit play it should work so it should disappear there we go i like to just disable it though by default it just makes more sense so uh, select your loading screen gui and uncheck the enabled field press play again to make sure it's still working all right it is that worked just fine but there is one thing we want to change if you press play you'll see the top of the screen our background does not fill in the complete screen that is an easy fix so on your loading screen gui in the properties just scroll down slightly at the it's near the top it's called ignore i don't know it's this property right here ignore golden set i'm sure i, I butchered that pronunciation but that is what you do you just ignore that make sure that is checked and then now once we press play it should fill in the entire screen and then it is still disappearing after three seconds and everything is working great that'll do it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one